Moving Lawnmowers with Trailer Winch. William Hovey Smith, 2023. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And today, uh, we have installed our winch from my golf cart and actually put it on this trailer. Uh, the reason being that I want to get my lawnmowers in shape so I can use them during hunting season. And for practicality, I have an older lawnmower, an old craftsman, that I've taken the deck off and used, well, just literally as a tractor to tow carts, to get me back in my place, and also, ultimately, to haul deer. And right now, well, we have problems with gas tank and the fuel line. So I'm going to need to replace that fuel line and clean out the gas tank, which ostensibly is not too big a job, but I have to move it. Also, in my sister's yard, I have some rather large pine trees down, and I'm picking up that debris. For the larger sections, yeah, we can use this winch to actually pull things up onto this trailer so I don't have to physically manhandle every stick of wood I load. What I have is a Badlands 2000 winch right here. And this is from Harbor Freight. And we have, of course, this little battery here, which I have charged. And this particular model has a manual control in and out. And you're also able to freewheel it to let out the cable. And the way I have it attached is with this two by six here, and then that is bolted to this two by 10 behind and is supported by literally all the wells in this frame. Now I tried it temporarily before with various other things, but these are good stout pieces of wood, although they're salvaged and used obviously, but uh, they should do the job. This is a temporary attachment. And when I got these, I measured and I came out with, well, I need about a seven inch. Well, they don't make seven inch, three eighths inch bolts. They make six inch bolts and they make eight inch bolts. So consequently, just to make sure, I got the larger ones. However, this is not all thread, and consequently, I had to use these washers uh, to make up the excess space. What I'll actually do is cut longer threads down here, so I don't have to use all this jury rig stuff, and um, trim off the bolts in general. Now the old craftsman here looks a little worse for the wear. After being set up for several months under a shed, uh, it's been infested with uh, various biologicals, uh, spiders and wasps and other things. And so, yeah, it needs a little TLC right now. I suppose somewhere I probably got a clevis, but uh, this rope will do just fine. And this is what I generally use to gather, well, cut stuff out of the yard and drag it and pieces of wood and so on. So uh, it's been well used. And what it technically is, is dock rope. And it's a very heavy, tough, nylon-based rope. I'm taking the clutch here and moving it back into run position. So now, if all goes well, it should start taking up slack. Okay, that's doing good. 
and our lawn tractor is moving. Our lawn tractor is lining up well with the ramp, so that looks good. Okay, it is a board. But moving around the yard, we've got it in gear. We've got a block under the wheel. And we're going to take it back over to my shed uh, where I have power and water and can wash it up and really get started with it. I'm going to wash this down a little bit, get rid of some of the wildlife and the dust and dirt, and then we'll move it under the shed and get it jacked up so we can actually work on it. Now that we have it washed off a little bit, yeah, it looks like something that a person could reasonably work on. Before, one would sort of wonder, well, why bother? But yeah, yeah, now it's looking good. <laughs> 